Hello my angel, welcome back to my channel. If you're joining us for the very first time, Ikamalami Ustutu Zilezondo, we do all things motherhood and self-care here. So listen, I've missed you guys. It's been a minute. It feels like it's been forever to be quite honest, but anyway, <laughs> I've missed you guys so much and I figured we need to catch up. We need to hang together. We need to spend some time together. So today, basically, we're gonna be chilling together. We're gonna be hanging out. And I'm also just going to give you guys a little bit of a catch-up session on what happened like the last week since I didn't really, I feel like I didn't really post. So yeah, let's just have a little cute little catch-up session. Also, the weather's beautiful. It's cozy. It's dark. It's gloomy. A little bit chilly. Not really, but yeah, it is a bit cold, but not too much. <clears throat> So it's the perfect weather and guys in Funas talk i want us to catch up right because wow <laughs> the past week the past not even week the past weekend also going into this week okay this vlog is going to be going up on sunday right so i'm going to be catching you guys up on what happened on the week before the sunday anyway so that's what we're going to be doing but for now before we get into our catch-up session because it's actually quite a bit funny <laughs> and a little bit sad but um before we catch up and we sit down i do want us to go make um like a little breakfast depending on when you're actually gonna watch this video go grab yourself a snack make yourself a cup of coffee tea whatever you like sit down get cozy relax because i'm so excited i feel like i've missed you guys so much and I just have so much to tell you. But also, this is going to be like a bit of a twist to a catch-up session. It's going to be a vlog slash catch-up session. In between, a bit of both. I should switch on the lights i'm not really sure but eh, i like staying in the dark okay now that sounds wrong anyway i just like it when the atmosphere is dark and gloomy and you know <laughs> anyway guys can we talk about this can we talk about the fact that because ah uh ah -uh, guys no way anyway um, let me just have a sip. So, this weekend, right, is Pumaguyo. So, what happened was, what had happened was, <laughs> my friend, my best, 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 best friend, right, at this very moment, guys, I literally only have three friends, and I feel like my three friends are literally my best friends. Anyway, my friend, right, um, told us good to guys i'm coming i'm flying down to cape town i'm flying down from cape town to joburg so my girl right she lives in cape town if you've watched my cape town vlogs you'd know she lives in cape town so she was coming down to joburg to but she's originally from joburg but she works and lives in cape town so she's like guys i'm coming to joburg for the weekend da, 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 da. so her man was in town basically in joburg so she came to spend time with her man and also see her friends and also see her family right okay sharp so then the girls and i we plan we go, okay guys we're going we um because like we were all sort of like busy we're gonna meet up on sunday we're gonna meet up on sunday for brunch or coffee um yeah because we all busy right because now she had to spend time with her man blah 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 whatever okay sharp cool that's the plan good as the girls we're gonna also you guys it was mommy what so it was mommy time my baby was not with me she was with her grandma and father so yeah i was alone the weekend the past weekend this puma boy so perfect anyway then the reason why personally i also didn't see my friend like okay but though she was busy on saturday um and Friday, so the heads we could only see her on Sunday. The rest of us were also busy, right? <laughs> anyway, 
anyway so um nami i had initially planned to go see someone's son right i had originally planned to go see someone and spend time with them um and then sunday go see my girls so that was the plan <laughs> anyway that was the plan but guys i'm not gonna go like in details like i'm not gonna go in details in terms of yeah Maybe it's, uh, no, we're never going to talk about it. Anyway, I'm not going to, we are going to talk about it now, but we're never going to dive in in depth in terms of this person or whatever. Yeah, anyway. So, the plan was to go see this guy, someone's son, whatever. And then, <laughs> right, Chapu. And then, basically, guys, long story short, Ngahamba Gayam Chuluni Friday, Kwagum Nandi. It was nice for a few hours, right? It was nice while it lasted. Hence, I'm saying it may not be the death of us, literally, because, wow. <laughs> After this weekend, I'm just like, when it comes to boys, I'm taking a break till next year. Boys will see me again next year. I'm so busy to work on young, pedily, when it comes to that department. I'm sure bigger. Anyway. Mm. Also, I've known this person for years. So it's not like, um, it's not like something new really, but I've known this person for years. Anyway, um, I go, okay, shop, gum, nandi, bang, landing, ham, be excitement, be, wada, 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 wada. And then just as a day, it went downhill. It went downhill on Saturday. And guys, my ninja logo to go, like, I never ever in my life thought I'd experience a, like a uh, heartbreak yeah a heartbreak to a point where i call my friends and i'm just crying at that very moment so okay shapu friday whatever saturday okay saturday i didn't get along got into a huge fight i'm not gonna get into it i'm not gonna get into details not that yeah i just feel like a super personal and yeah, anyway, I got into a huge fight with this person. And guys, Angaz, have you guys ever experienced this thing of you get into such a bad heartbreak to a point where you are crying? Guys, I was crying my eyes out, like being in color. And like when I was leaving that place where we were, Basically, the first thing I just thought of was calling my girls. Like, usually I'm the type of person, if I go through something, I'm hurt or whatever, I usually prefer to be alone. Like, I'm the type of person where I'll go through something this weekend and then I'll tell my girls if I feel like I also want to tell them. Sometimes I don't even tell them. Sometimes I even share, like, months later. Or, like, if it's not that deep, maybe I'll share a few days later. I would say, oh, guys, that day I went through this or whatever. But in this instance, like for the very first time, I got into it and I was so hurt. The first thing I did was to call my girls. I called my friend and I was like, no way, I'm going through it. I'm going through it. And yo guys, anyway, I was going through it. Like, I don't want to get, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to get emotional. Okay, we passed it. It's Lulile. Anyway, it was so bad. I think I'd probably get emotional because I can't believe how, like, the way everything happened. Like, it felt like a movie. <laughs> and it was just so unexpected from my side. Anyway, like, I just feel like things escalated so quick. But anyway, um, and I was just going through it. The first thing I did was to just call my friends. I called Unum Zamo, texted Unum Zamo, Unum Zamo called me back. And one thing i think the only reason why i'm getting emotional is because i am just so blessed with amazing friends like my girls are everything like yo i literally called the norms i called pabs and like right after because i think when i called them they couldn't answer so they called me back like a few minutes after right that and like the was almost like friend request that was a line and my friend is just like request the car right now request an uber right now and come here at this very moment because usually i'd be the type of person that just requests and go home and i cry at home and then wake up i get maybe monday back to reality and i move on with my life like usually i deal with things like that but this weekend my girls are just like no request the car now and get here at this very moment 
so my friend lives around the Sansan area and then also my friend who had flown down from Cape Town she was also around the Sansan area that's where she was with her man and guys bear in mind it's Saturday and we all had our plans and like even my friend she was like guys I can't see you guys on Saturday because my man you know whatever she was also like dude let me know when you get to Zamo's place so we can all be together like ah. Uh, literally because and i'm feeling this way because my friend right she it's not like she sees her man all the time so the fact that she was also like in daughter yeah i've spent time with my man or whatever that just also says a lot about her and she's just like friend lalela by the time we get here and i think also another reason why they were panicking is because when i was talking to them over the phone like i was crying i was crying <laughs> I was crying you guys oh my god anyway so i literally requested and basically i went to my friend's house and to know someone's place and but i love my friends so much like my friends are i just feel like i know we've been friends for years but they i feel like my friends are just that comfort space like that comfort zone where you know i'm not gonna be judged them they're gonna come with me they're gonna hear me out they're gonna be there for me they're just gonna be everything you know so um we got to namzamo's place as i got to namzamo Namzam was just hanging out chilling because her man was not really around so she was just hanging at her place chilling and stuff and when we got there as on my way there my friend is like i'm about to leave the house so i can go get out so i can go get drinks for us like they were prepared they were prepared to say our girl is going through this right now we need to be there for her and whatever it takes and, she, and i love them so much for that love love them so much because wow and i'm not even gonna lie like after the whole thing i even told them with you guys they just made me feel so much better it didn't even feel like i was going through a heartbreak like you know anyway so yeah i got to my friend's house and i think it's a bit tricky because i want to share but i don't want to overshare that's the weird part um yeah but anyway i hope that you guys understand um because i feel like we all go through heartbreaks don't we guys am i the only one song song man anyway um yeah so i got to my friend's place and yeah so as i got to my friend's place our friend pebs was like guys come here right now let's hang um let's hang out let's chill and as girls catch up um and she was like yeah and also friend i'm worried about you so i want to see you guys blah 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 and then yeah and then we went um and then we went to we went to the maslow yeah we went to the maslow because my friend was there so we went to the maslow and we were just hanging out as girls and you guys if i tell you after hanging out with my girls i felt so much better i'm not even gonna lie so right now i'm gonna give you guys a short little break and i'm gonna um i'm gonna take you guys to the actual saturday night where i was hanging out with my girls we just had um we had dinner we had champagne we were chilling we were catching up we were dancing it was just absolutely amazing and it, oh anyway i don't want to blabber too much let's just get into it so you guys can see what we've got up to um during that night fool me once fool me twice when you're hiding things might as well be lies i'm too far and got out because in the price yes money it's not it How can I not show you, friend? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Lalela, let me tell you what happened. <laughs> Yo, I can't stop laughing. <laughs> what happened? 
I, I even need the tray. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> okay. Look inside. <laughs> What's up here? What do you see? Down there. I see chips, tomato sauce. <laughs> I threw all my tomatoes in. It has said, we're not living. It was absolutely, it was a beautiful night and we were drunk. We were so, oh my God, we were so drunk. <laughs> we were so drunk and I needed it. I, that is the type of night I needed after I, what I had just gone through. I needed that night so much. And one thing about my friends and I, when we were together, we would laugh until our tummy like until your belly hurts you laugh so hard because that i just know that whenever i'm with my girls we're gonna have a good time and like even if it doesn't mean that we go out or whatever and she just us being indoors eat like chit chatting drinking whatever it was absolutely amazing had the best time ever so and then like as we were so drunk to a point where Nomzamo like this there was no way Nomzamo was gonna drunk was gonna there was there's there's no way Nomzamo was gonna drive. So when we left um the hotel basically we took an Uber. We took an Uber and we just went back to Zamo's place to sleep, right? <sighs> Guys, we were drunk. We were so 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 wasted. <laughs> but it was amazing um hence my voice i don't know if you guys can tell but my voice i'm trying to speak really like things i'm keep it easy but like my voice was gone like this whole week my voice was just gone because of bujuala <laughs> um and then we woke up sunday so when we woke up on sunday my friend was gonna leave on sunday night basically her man left on Saturday, um, Sunday in the morning then right after her man left she came through to us and then we met up the plan was good remember initially we had planned which we were actually gonna meet up on Sunday for brunch so in our heads we're like listen we already planned which we're gonna go out for brunch so let's just go We went to Paul's, but we were hanging so hard. Like we, <laughs> I had a cappuccino. We we like literally, um, Pabs was like, she's gonna have a mimosa because I mean, she was like, if you have a hangover, we keep her ngenying we keep her mutual. If you hangover, you need to drink alcohol so that you can feel better. Nomzamo couldn't even finish the damn. What did she order? I don't even remember what she ordered. But we were just so hungover. There was no way. We we're gonna eat like we're just like there's no way we we're gonna eat because we're done anyway right after that um the plan also on sunday was that my friend was gonna go see her family um which is my family i love them so much because like i said i feel like when you've been friends with people like eventually their family becomes your family because you've spent so much time together over the years like i don't know how many times i've spent time at Pabs' house, like having sleepovers, having oh amazing things, man. So like that's so eventually over the years we have also grown this really close relationship with her family, which is absolutely amazing. And I'm so grateful for like her mom is like my mom. <laughs> like literally. Anyway, I get emotional, but anyway, 
um so right after the drinks that we had at paul's um we met up with her family they had just gotten out of church so we met up with her family and my friend wanted to go get um like a few cute little things like ice cream for the kids and um flowers for her mom so that's what we did Hey, chum, now let's it says in play. Hey, bo. Living for weekends, wishing I could take a break from this world. Running on a hamster wheel, but searching for something I can't feel. I just wanna be a lost girl. And fly, a breath, fill my wings, spread. I saw your gift. <laughs> I saw your birthday gift to see. I've been waiting. You've been waiting. <laughs> yeah. Right after we got those things, basically, we went home. So we went to her home, basically. But we just wanted to spend like a few minutes with her family, just see them, see her mom. I mean, her mom was like, "Yeah, you guys don't see me. The only time you guys come and see me is if your friend is here." And like we promised her, good to know we, Nuzam and I need to do better, and we need to visit her, even though our friend is in Cape Town. Um. So yeah. Anyway. Uh, also you guys I've noticed to like people in my life people in my life the first thing they see like when they see me the first thing they ask me is like where's we where? like literally my friend's mom was like hey well, where's you where? my friend's little sister she was like oh cool she's like ah where's the baby I'm like guys what about me <laughs> I know like everywhere I go like people are just like where's you where? like I feel like man hamba and Zubia is not there. People look at me like it's like something is missing. Couldn't they should die? Anyway, um, I'm like I'm just so excited talking about this story because it warms my heart so much. Because guys, when I came to Joburg, um, most of my family is in KZN. So it's just so amazing to see over the years of me being in varsity, I've sort of created my own family here in Joburg, which is absolutely amazing. Anyway. Um, we went to my friend's house and when we got there, Numzama and I, I think we were just there for like an hour before we left my friend to spend time with her family. So when we got there, um, um, I decided to arrange my friend's um, mom's flowers. She was so happy. And right after that, we were just hanging, chilling, catching up, just asking us about work and all of that. And we were just laughing at the fact that how crazy is it that like a few years back, our parents would ask us to house school. And now we're chilling with our, our mom's friend and she's asking us how's work. Like, that's just amazing. Like now we're complaining about like being an adult, the bills and the, oh, I love it. Anyway, um, so yeah, we we're just chilling, hanging. Um, just hanging around as friends and stuff like that. So like, I think around about half first, I think like around about half first one, Nomzamo and I decided to go. And then, we left and then right after that, um, we went and we had lunch. Nomzamo is currently obsessed with Nando's. So we went to Nando's. <laughs> I I lose my spark. Living in this crazy time, putting back the pieces of my mind. I know how to run from the dark and fly. After that, that whole Sunday, 
we're just chilling on the couch watching youtube videos just relaxing and chilling and just nursing our hangover um so yeah and also like i think also the last time i was at zamo's place i came back to my place on monday so we did the exact same thing because one thing about my friend when it's time to go and i'm like friends and i'm just like oh i'm the line why are you leaving and i love her so much for that anyway so that was my weekend you guys went through a heartbreak and my friends were there to comfort me and just show me some love and yeah honestly love them to bits anyway i hope that you guys enjoyed our little catch-up session um i haven't even had my wheat beaks like i'm busy talking i haven't had a chance to have my wheat beaks so what i want us to do right now is that i'm going to we're going to move over to monday so on monday basically um Zubia and i decided Zubia was not feeling well she kind of had an allergic reaction actually not monday tuesday so we had an allergic reaction so she was not really feeling well and also right after the weekend i caught flu definitely like i was still recovering and the funny thing is on sunday namzam was that friend we old we are headed towards our third year like we know i know we're only like 27 turning 28 versus this madala we're only going to recover probably on wednesday or something so like i was recovering this whole week you guys and yeah i really wanted to vlog this week but wow i was just still recovering and i think i caught flu and zubia was also not okay so tuesday we decided to go um tuesday was the only time i actually had a chance to i had a chance to us i had a chance to go buy groceries so that's what we did on tuesday These are so nice. These are so nice. This is what i got you guys we got peaches we got strawberries and then bananas and then we got two chocolate croissants we are already eating hers 
and then popcorn for Zubia's snack. Um, and then, guys, this is what I got myself to snack on because my friend put me on this combo. Um, the sour cream and chives dip with these pretzels. Oh my goodness, the best snack. We were having the snack during the weekend when I was at my friend's place and she was like, you have to try this and so yummy, so delicious. So please go try this out, you guys. These pretzels, the honey, mustard and onion flavored pretzels with this dip, amazing, delicious. You're not gonna repeat it. And then I got myself the cappuccino, one avocado because when I buy more than one, like eventually the other one goes bad and avocado is expensive. I remember the last time I bought avocado, I literally bought one and I think I had half and the other half went bad. But I'm promising myself that I'm going to finish this one so there's no way I'm going to buy a whole lot because of that. And then bought wheat beaks. Um, like I said in the previous vlog, we've been enjoying wheat beaks lately for breakfast. And then I bought the full cream yogurt um, for the bouillon. And then I got 18 large eggs. And then for meat, we got the six crumbed chicken breast. Oh my gosh, I actually thought I was buying snitchels. Anyway, whatever. And then I bought this mixed vegetable. Also another thing, if you guys know, I usually buy the two pack because it's two for 55. But I didn't because the last time I bought the two pack, the other pack went bad so rather i'm just gonna buy a pack each week or something so that's that and then for meat we also got the mints and then we also got the chicken so yeah that's what we got here and then this side which was still from woolies and then <laughs> If you guys have been watching, I've been saying I need to start this thing of buying like one box each week of milk. So I just decided to buy the full six pack. And then we bought the potatoes, onions, butternut, and um, what's this? And the sweet potato. And also another thing, Woolies, the orange sweet potato. This one that I love, the Kara orange sweet potato was not really part of the special but i noticed that now it's part of the special so i was so happy because this is my favorite one so yeah that's what we bought also another thing i bought this from clicks since i'm not gonna add it but bought this from clicks and yeah um what i wanted to say is that like i know these veggies like another person would be like oh my god this is a lot but usually the sweet potatoes the butternut and the potatoes we go through it so quickly onions not so much like we still have onions even in the fridge so yeah that one but in this household we do we do eat vegetables more than we eat rice and pap and stuff so yeah th that's why i decided to take the whole combo so you guys all of this and the vegetable combo for everything i think i spent 1.2 1 1.2 1200 rand and to be quite honest i am not mad at it at all i'm not mad at it at all i'm just really happy about what i got for the price that i paid so yeah we ordered pizza for dinner
Smells clean. Oh, thanks, love. And it smells beautiful. <laughs> so proud smells... of you because you remember how to put to, to water your plants every Oops. day. Oopsie. That's enough. We have officially come to the end of this vlog, you guys. Um, today's Saturday and honestly, I haven't been doing anything. I've just been cleaning and I did honestly want to clean with you guys, but there was so much I really wanted to do. Like I wanted to like do proper deep cleaning, like clean the shower, the oven, like everything. So that's what I did after I did laundry. So that was just my day. Right now it's like half past four and I just got out of a shower at the shower and i honestly just want to relax and chill a bit before i start cooking some dinner so yeah and i'm so sorry you guys because i feel like this vlog is just all over the place a bit you know like but i'm sorry i apologize but i do appreciate you if you've watched this vlog so this far we are gonna do a little bit better next week so i can't wait to see you guys on the next one um i appreciate y'all and i love y'all so much if you did enjoy this vlog please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up subscribe and also leave me a cute little flower emoji in the comment section so i'm gonna see you guys on the next one i love you so 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 much um there's a lot i actually want to talk to you guys about there's a lot like i actually want to share but you know what let's leave that for the next vlog for now we let's close off this vlog but i think we are going to cook dinner together not really entirely sure i'll see how i feel but yeah i love you guys so much Mwah.